Oh, look at that. It looks like a small ship. I don't know why a small ship would be out here. Oh, what the? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we're being torpedoed at. Oh, my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are back in Tiny Sails World, and today we are going to be creating our own ship. But real quick before we start the video, here is a word from our sponsor. Me, because no one sponsors me. There are memberships on the channel now, including two levels, loyal supporter and super supporter. This includes custom emojis, badges, and shoutouts at the end of the video with the bonus of having polls to decide what video I do next. So feel free to go ahead and subscribe to that if you want to. But yeah, that is the sponsorship. And back to the video. Here we are in New York and we are going to be creating our own ship. So there is something called ship options and you can actually customize your own ship through there. So let's go ahead and get a base model ship so we can customize it. Now this is the difficult part. What ship do I want to customize? I want to do something a little more historic. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pick a ship that I actually haven't featured in a video yet. And you know, that's going to be the Windsor Castle. So let's go ahead and spawn that in. All right, here we have the Windsor Castle from the Union Castle line. And yeah, it won't stay that name for long. We're about to customize it. And uh, that doesn't look good. Um, What do you want, Olympic? Ooh, very close call there. And they're firing at us. That's wonderful. Luckily, we don't have PvP on, so that is good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and customize our ship here. All right, here we have the ship options tab. So let's go ahead and change the ship's name to SS Gillette. That seems good. Let's do the Gillette line as the company name. And ship class, I don't know, huge, I guess. Um, and... Uh, well, let's do the Port of Registry as the ocean because it will be uh, registered there very soon when it sinks. So, um, yeah, I'm un uh, unsure as how to change everything down here, but I guess we'll just kind of play around with it for a little bit. So, uh, let's do 225. So, that changes that to yellow. Oh, wow, that looks terrible. Um, well, uh, yeah, that's quite funny. Um, so, let's do 30. What does that do it? Okay, so that's red. Okay, so I think I know how to do this now. So what if I change everything to blue? Kind of like the channel colors. So let's see. Uh, let's do the upper hull and let's see if we can get uh, a nice blue here. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, how about that? Nope, that's orange. Um, this should be blue. Don't know why it's not giving me blue. It's giving me orange here. This is not looking out so well here um oh i know what i need to do i need to set all of these to zero that's how this works okay yeah i'm a little dumb and that's why i have no idea what i'm doing okay so let's just keep winding through here until we find a nice color you know i like that but i think we need a little bit of green in there how about um well, let's do a hundred real quick that's the color I'm looking for. So it's 100 and 225. So that's the number we're looking for. So let's go ahead, do the lower hull as uh, zero blue, zero green, and um, lots of red. Okay, so now we want the bottoms of our funnel to be green and red. I think that would make yellow. So um, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. Now that's what I'm looking for here. Well, I've just made gray, so that's wonderful. There we go. Okay, now we've got yellow. Perfect. All right, so now we need um, funnel top. So funnel top, let's do zero, zero, zero. That's the color we're looking for. Why is it giving me red? Okay, there we go. I have to press the answer button there. Okay, so we've got a blue hull, white superstructure. Let's actually close this. So we can actually see what we've got here. So the SS Gillette from the Gillette line. We have a um, nice bit of color shape, but I'm going to change that blue one more time. Uh, I'm not really a personal fan of this color, so let's go ahead and change that. Now we're getting close here. Okay, so I'm liking that, but maybe we need a little more. Can we get more blue? No, okay. So we need to tone down the green just a little bit. So let's do 150. There we go. Okay, let's do 170. Okay, that's looking a lot better. I like that color. So I think we're gonna go with that. Um, it's gonna be, uh, can we change the flag ID? No, we can't, okay. So I think that's good. Um, we can change the nameplate and stuff, but I don't think I'm really gonna change all that. I like it as it is. So there we go, we've got the SS Gillette from the Gillette line. 
And uh, we're gonna go ahead and sail this thing out. So uh, yeah, here we go. Here goes the SS Gillette leaving port. And it looks like a ship is sinking in the distance. Maybe we can help them. Is that the Britannic? Kind of looks like the Britannic over there. Let's go see if we can help. The SS Gillette is coming. Don't worry, Britannic. We're here. All right. Yep. Here we go. Let's uh, let's slow the ship down here. We've got all these lifeboats coming towards us here. So let's drop anchor and stop the ship. There we go. Look at all these lifeboats swarming us here. We're going to gain a lot of passengers from this, or survivors, I should say. And uh, let's load up some uh, survivors here. That's actually interesting. I can't actually do that. I might have to back up a little bit towards the dock. Is that why? Let's see. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and stop. And let's do... Yeah, we're going to do max passengers because the Gillette line is the most popular line out there. So there we go. And we are set. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing moving. Look at all these lifeboats trying to get to the ship here. Let's just go ahead and sail full ahead into the lifeboats. There we go, and they're all being rescued. Excellent. And, oh, sorry. I can't rescue. Oh, well, there's only one lifeboat left. How sad. Well, we're going to go ahead and we are going to turn around here because there's nothing out this way. We are going to head towards Cape Town, South Africa. So let's go. Well, the SS Gillette is on its first voyage. Oh, crap. No! All right. So we're lined up and now we're heading to Cape Town, South Africa. Everything that you saw before never happened, okay? Well, so far, the SS Gillette here is handling really well against these waves. So, um, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna hope for the best here. I do see a lot of ship traffic around here. You can see a ship there. Oh, there's an island as well there. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna try to make it there in one piece and, um, hope that no U-boats or subs come out of the water and attack us. Uh, we do have PvP on because I want to see if anything like that might happen. But, uh, you know, speaking about that, I'm gonna close the watertight doors, uh, just in case. Wow, we have a pretty big storm here. It's been going on for a few hours now in game time. So, yeah, it must be a really big storm. And um, we're still on course for Cape Town. That is our destination. And uh, we're going to drop off and pick up passengers. Actually, I'm just going to pick up passengers. It looks like I forgot to load passengers on board the SS Gillette. So I guess maybe we're just heading to Cape Town. And then we're going to pick up passengers and take them to New York. So that'll be cool. You know, the waves are so big that these uh, forward set of portholes are actually going underwater. So that's really crazy. But I see another ship. Actually, no, that's the same ship in the distance there. As well as that island. So we're not moving too fast. Only 14 knots. So it's going to take just a little while to get to, uh, to get to Cape down here. Well, that's a nice sight to see New York just disappearing into the distance there with some ship traffic as well. And uh, now that we have a clear view of everything, we can actually... Uh, survive a little better and plus it's almost morning so we'll get a nice sunrise as well very interesting stern here and i really like that the ss gillette is registered in the ocean of course because um it will inevitably sink um yeah so it's just best to register it to a place that doesn't exist well technically not a port but um a port for all ships that sink we are plowing ahead here towards Cape Town, again at 14 knots. We only have 88% of fuel left on board, which is a little worrying. By the time we get there, we might not have uh, much to any fuel left because of the consumption here. So yeah, we're just going to hope for the best. Looks like there's an oil rig off in the distance there. Doesn't look like there's an oil rig fire though, so that's good. They finally got the fire put out for once, so... Yeah, and we're about to see a sunrise in a moment. There it is, there's a sun rising above some terrain there. And there it goes. We have a sunrise. The uh, the SS Gillette's first sunrise on the open ocean. You can see that this is an older vessel in Tiny Sails World. It lacks a lot of detail like the newer ones. Uh, but that will probably change in the future when they update the ship. But yeah, we're just making our way forward here. And it looks like we have some terrain ahead. And uh, let's go ahead and just make a course adjustment here. And then we will get around this terrain that's right here. All right, so I see the edge of the sandbar or island here and um, we're gonna go ahead and just turn the ship so we can just kind of hook ourselves around this edge of the island pretty much and then we'll be able to get to Cape Town uh, successfully actually let's cross between the two islands here and uh, that'll be really cool all right here we go we're passing underneath this bridge here and I think I can just see Cape Town in the distance somewhere over here I think maybe that would be it there but uh, here we go just crossing between these two mountains here. Oh, hold on. There is a chest here. Let's stop the ship. 
jump off the ship and just see what this is here. Oh, yes, tons of points. All right, really cool. All right, let's get back onto the ship. And we're back into a thunderstorm, and that is wonderful. So, um, yeah, here we go. Flying through some more waves here. Well, this is really nice. We have had an uneventful voyage so far. And, um, we have 68% of fuel left. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to make it there with enough fuel. And, of course, we'll refuel once we're there. So, yeah. The ship does look really nice. I know I've said that quite a lot here, but, uh... I am digging that nice uh, blue hull there. It's a little different from other ocean liners. So it's kind of interesting to see here. Oh, look at that. It looks like a small ship. I don't know why a small ship would be out here. Oh, what the? Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we're being torpedoed at. Oh, my gosh. We're being torpedoed at. Evasive maneuver, evasive maneuvers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, turn, 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 turn. Oh, they're going to collide with us. They're going to collide with us. Oh my gosh. All right, we've taken on damage. Apply the pumps. The pumps are going. The SS Gillette is under attack by a U boat. Oh my gosh. All right, zigzag pattern. We're almost to Cape Town. We're almost to Cape Town. Zigzag pattern here. Oh no. Oh no. Is it going to hit? Oh, it just missed. It just missed. Okay, we're almost to Cape Town. But I don't think we'll be safe there. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It looks like they found out. Oh, gosh. We've just been torpedoed. We've been smuggling thousands of subscribers into the country. Oh, no. No, no. Apply the pumps again. Nope. We can't do that. All right. Try to turn. We're still afloat. We're not sinking. Oh, gosh. We're sinking. The SS Gillette is going down right now. A U-boat has just attacked us here. Oh, my gosh. U-47. All right, our lifeboats are lowering away here. This is it. This is the end for SS Gillette. Yep, look at this. They're lowering the lifeboats into the water. Well, this is it. This is the end for the SS Gillette. On its first voyage, it is sunk by U-47 and um, going down by the stern here. So, um, yep, this is it. This was uh, quite a fun experience. I'm glad I was able to... Uh, learn the ship uh, options tab. Um, I did have a bit of trouble doing it before, but um, yep, I was able to make my own ship here, and um, yeah, here we go. We're going down. You can see the back deck is already awash, and uh, it's actually about to reach the promenade and boat deck here, so yeah, it's actually on the promenade deck now. Well, there we go, and uh, wow, they are still firing torpedoes at us right now, so uh, yeah, and we just lost a funnel there. It just collapsed into the sea. Sinking by the stern, which is interesting. But it uh, makes sense because we were torpedoed back there. So, yep, as you can see, it is really going down now. The whole boat deck's awash. And, um, yeah, I think this is my call to jump overboard. So, uh, yep. All right, and we're in the water. There we go. The ship is just going vertical here. And um, looks like all of those subscribers are going down below the ocean. Pretty cool view here, just looking up at the bow of the ship, slowly plunging under as the air escapes the vessel. So, um, yeah. We're also going to go ahead and take a look at the wreck, as we usually do. I'm a little interested to see how it's going to turn out, uh, because it's sinking by the stern and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, here we go. And it looks like this is the guy that sank the ship. He is, um, helping it go down, of course. Uh, just jumping on the very bow of the ship there. Uh, congratulations to you. Um, you really did sink the ship. I thought I did have some good maneuvering skills, but clearly not good enough because the only thing left in my ship now is the very bow. And now there is officially nobody left on board as that guy just fell into the water there. And there it goes. So let's go ahead and follow it down. All right, so we're at the sea floor, and here comes the SS Gillette going down right to the bottom here, really dropping down. No engine parts falling out of the ship, but I assume that's because of how old the ship is. So, uh, yep, there it goes. Oh, no, there's the engine parts in the boilers. And, oh, wow, it's going to land upright. Well, Joshua, um, good for you. You sank the SS Gillette. And um, there we are. That was the SS Gillette. That's my first time customizing a ship in Tiny Sails World. So, yeah, all right, guys, if you're interested, make sure to leave a like in the comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye. Ooh.